Hello and welcome to airgunweb.com. Your home for honest, real world airgun reviews and information where we bring you the facts, not fluff. There are moments in history that just change the game. The day our review product was introduced is one such moment. I'm of course talking about the Benjamin Discovery. It's a humble little rifle that truly performs and it does so on a tight budget. Before we start, I'd like to take a moment and thank Pyramid Air for providing all the supplies for this review and for sponsoring our channel. So now, let's take a good close-up look at the Benjamin Discovery. The Benjamin Discovery is going to look familiar to a lot of old-time air gunners. It's essentially a redesigned Crossman 2260 CO2 gun with one very important upgrade. The Discovery can run on high pressure air as well as bulk fill CO2. The large tube under the barrel is the chamber for either fuel and it is filled via a foster connector protected by a cap just under the barrel. The stock on the Discovery is very simple and rustic. It's ambidextrous and lightweight, making the Discovery well suited for long days of hunting. The rifle ships with simple front and rear fiber optic sights with the rear sight being fully adjustable. However, the rifle is really meant to be scoped. For this review, I've mounted the Leaper's 4-16x50 AO MDIR scope using a set of high Leaper's two-piece mounts. As you can see, they barely give me the clearance I need to work the adjustable objective. The rifle is a single-shot bolt-action design that is virtually foolproof and delivers excellent accuracy. In the bottom of the forearm, you'll find an integrated pressure gauge to let you know when you're running short on fuel. The gauge has markings for both HPA and CO2. The trigger on the Discovery is identical to the trigger found in the old 2260. It's plastic with no adjustments. It's a bit spongy and ambiguous, but pulls at an acceptable 3 pounds 10 ounces. The Discovery is quite loud compared to most other air guns, especially spring or nitro piston guns, registering 116 dB in my tests. The Discovery will compete in both accuracy and power with guns costing several times more. It's a great gun that will continue to claim space in many, many gun racks. The Benjamin Discovery comes in two configurations. One comes in around $400 and includes the rifle and an HPA hand pump. And the other is just the rifle and it comes in at around $260. Both rifles have open sights and if you want to get the most out of each, you're definitely going to want to mount a scope. For today's look at the Benjamin Discovery, we're going to take a look at just the rifle and we'll be filling it with a scuba tank and the Air Venturi fill kit. One of the unique features of the Benjamin Discovery is that it can also be bulk filled with CO2. We'll get to that in another review. So to get the Discovery ready to shoot, we need to first fill our rifle. Before we just grab our tank and start filling our rifle, it was pointed out to me by a concerned viewer that I need to be more attentive to safety regarding the use of HPA devices. So I want to take a moment and do just that. HPA stands for high pressure air. These fill containers, be they aluminum, steel, or carbon fiber, hold air at tremendously high pressures. So much so that their use is strictly regulated. It's very, very important that you pay close attention to what you're doing and how you're doing it when you're working with HPA equipment. What you may think is a minor bump to your tank could actually cause a structural defect leading to a catastrophic failure. Granted, all of the containers in use are over-engineered to prevent this type of failure, but you don't want to be that one in a million statistic. So please take proper precautions when working with HPA. So now let's get on to the fun stuff. Now using our scuba tank and air venturi fill adapter, we're going to pressurize our Discovery to 2000 PSI. This happens very, very quickly and it's important to fill your gun very slowly and only to 2000 PSI. You can use the gauge on the bottom of your gun as a guide. I'm going to slowly open the valve and the gun begins to fill. Now your gun can heat up, so you actually want to do it really slowly. I really want to stress slow and steady. I'm 
once you've reached 2000 PSI, you're done. You would bleed the valve, disconnect your rifle, replace your cap, and we're ready to go on to the next step. Now that we've got our rifle fully pressurized, it's time to go ahead and try shooting the gun. Now, the discovery is very loud, so the first thing I'm going to do is put on my ear protection. We want to definitely make sure our safety's on. Cock the bolt. Load our pellet. Aim the gun at our intended target. Release the safety. Pull the trigger. We'll do that one more time. Safety on. Cock the bolt. Load the pellet. Close the bolt. Aim our gun at our target, release the safety, pull the trigger. Now what's very cool about PCP guns is that you don't have to pump it up in between shots. You can just continue shooting your gun until you need to refill it. I'm able to get about 15 good shots from my Discovery before I have to top it back off to 2000 PSI. Using a standard 3,000 PSI tank, you should get dozens and dozens of fills and well over a thousand shots before you need to fill your scuba tank. This makes the Discovery a very economical rifle to go shoot. Now let's go ahead and talk about performance. The most accurate pellet for our Discovery was the Benjamin Discovery hollow points. They're 14.3 grains and they delivered the following results. We had a high of 866 feet per second, a low of 824 feet per second, an average of 851 feet per second, with an extreme spread of 42 feet per second and a standard deviation of 14 feet per second. The average energy was 23 foot pounds. The noise level on the Benjamin Discovery is very high, as I mentioned previously. You'll definitely want to use ear protection when shooting. Our rifle tipped the scales at 116 dB. While certainly not the loudest air gun out there, you won't want to be shooting this in your backyard if you have neighbors close to you. Let's move on to accuracy. What makes the Discovery so enjoyable to shoot is the accuracy you get with so little effort. In my experience, the shooting characteristics of shooting a PCP are more like those of shooting a traditional firearm. This is great for those that want to just practice shooting without having to learn a whole new skill set like you would with a spring gun. The trigger is the weak point of the Discovery and you're going to need to work on your trigger pull and your consistency to get really good groups. It's spongy, ambiguous, and frankly uncomfortable. But with all that said, it's still workable with a trigger pull of about 3 pounds 10 ounces. I have some shot groups at 25 and 50 yards to show you today. I was shooting down at our local range and we had some really annoying wind gusts. But even with the high gusts, we got some great groups. Take a look. So here's my scorecard for the Benjamin Discovery. Let's start with the cons. The trigger needs work. That's about all I have in the cons department. Now let's look at the pros. The price makes getting into PCP air guns affordable for most folks that would normally shy away from the investment. The gun is powerful and very accurate with just a little bit of practice. The Discovery, like the Crossman 2240, has a massive secondary market for upgrades. Now let's pull all this together with our final summary. The Benjamin Discovery effectively changed the PCP airgun world. 
While some may want to argue about that point, you only have to look at how many were sold and continue to sell. Taking it one step further, look at how many Benjamin Marauders have been sold as a result of the Discovery's success. The Benjamin Discovery is a great little rifle that's often overlooked. I hope this video helps people take notice of this humble little air gun that's had such a tremendous impact on the sport. I want to take a moment and thank the folks at Pyramid Air for sponsoring our channel and providing all the supplies for this review. You can find all the products used in this review on their website at www.pyramidair.com. When you're looking for your next air gun or you're looking to fill your next air gun supply order, please visit www.pyramidair.com or give them a call at 888-262-4867. Please be sure to let them know that you learned about them here at Air Gun Web. When you're looking for honest, real-world air gun reviews, think Air Gun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. I'm Rick Utzer with AirGunWeb.com. Thanks again for watching.